everyone and welcome that's the wrong screen jesus christ where's my professional streamer setup how are you guys today hello everyone who's already here physics is here mademoiselle danielle i saw athelas is here ruben was here is now at the supermarket but wants to come back physics is here hope i didn't miss anyone and Athenas, watch out. I have a small surprise just for you. Just for you. In a second. But uh, first of all, I hope you all had a great start into the week. Today is Labor Day in Germany and all around the world, except for the US and New Zealand, as I found out. Um, but I won't take a day off. No. There are definitely a lot of things to do. Contracts to fulfill, monsters to kill, Siri to find, and curses to find. What a nice poem I came up with for my tweet today. See, lots of hearts and pandas, that's always nice to see. And it's a new month. I posted the winner for the clips of the month, for the month of April, in my discord and i do want to give a shout out to them because last month there were a ton of clips and every single one of them was awesome and there were lots of clips who for sure would have deserved to win but i do want to give a shout out for the third place and five points for the year-long competition go to aj and his ma boots clip Second place goes to physics and 10 points for the year-long competition for the birds and the bees clip. And the first place goes to Mademoiselle Danielle and 20 points for her for the year-long competition for the do-do-do-do clip. Special th thanks there for Dantes since he made it even possible that this could have been clipped. So thank you very much for um, submitting all the clips last month. I hope this month we get even more and even better clips if that is even possible. And uh, so get your clip game ready. I'm sure we find some fun stuff to clip. If there are any problems with the sound or any other issues, just let me know. and I will try to fix it. And now let's jump in and then as soon as I'm in the game, Athenas has to look out for the surprise. So let's start and continue with the game. While searching for the witch Siri Last time at Gail the end of the stream friend, we talked to Chira little Metz. Johnny, Sorceress told the witch nice little fellow, and uh, we met, or at least we heard, heart. From the crones the, the first time. They gave us a quest to fulfill age, and the they promised to tell us more about Sirius' whereabouts if we do that for them. So it seemed the Witcher felt that always lost until Kira gave him a new lead. The crones had put back Bob. Gonna see that I can prepare that for Athelas. Also, I think Frosty won't mind that either. Chrome casts are junk. That's okay. What's going on there, Fizz? So now, we have the quest from the crones to do. Also, um, a few side quests I want to start with today before we do the crone quest. But now, hmm, what could I have as a surprise for Athelas? There it is. It's now part of the stream. An everlasting Geralt in the bathtub. Smash the Chromecast. My Chromecast won't uh, stream Twitch properly right now. That sucks. I can also move him around. 
think I could. Yeah. Put him here. There. Yeah. He's a bit shy. Huh. Okay. Enough of the jokes. It's serious witcher business. Welcome to the stream, Falstro. How are you doing? Bathalas, yes. Hope you're having a good start into the week, Falstro. Um, ca uh, cast the tap. Don't use the Twitch app. Then it works fine. Ah. See, Falstro, always a helping hand. Um, let's loot this uh, place. The crow place. Open the door. I won't go down there now. Should be a surprise what's down there. And then um, I will see what kind of quest I do next. It is pretty dark in here, though. So if I... Don't be shy, Geralt. <laughs> um, okay, let's start with uh, some reading, I guess. Witchers! Not quite the devils you thought. A conviction has arisen amongst both mages and the hoi polloi that witchers barely rise a hair's breadth above animals, and that they are deformed and bloodthirsty mutants, and that in slaking this thirst they do not limit themselves to the flutes of monsters. Meanwhile, the research and observations of Virgil of Ben Art paint an entirely different picture of the case. Of course, it is indisputable fact that the mutations witchers undergo influence their temperament, immune systems, str strength, and endurance. Yet, one cannot consider them unthinking beings forged only for killing as a result. In fact, witchers cultivate a unique culture, a special specialization of a body, body of knowledge, an effective training system and even a code of honor. They know an incredible amount about the effects of ingesting various organic and inorganic substances and also a small amount, but nevertheless something, about the fundamentals of magic, by which I mean the simple spells they call signs. On the surface, the Witcher appears to be a um, hum, 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 homogenous social entity, but in truth, their fighting styles, training regiments, and worldviews differ significantly depending upon the school to which they adhere. The best known witcher schools on the continents are the School of the Wolf, the School of the Bear, the School of the Griffin, the School of the Viper, and the School of the Cat. And we got a bestiary entry. My evening with a vampire. So, interview with a vampire. You will no doubt call me a liar, a cheat, and a madman. You will shake your head in pity and snort in disbelief. But I promise you, I swear on all of the gods, everything we, uh, which you shall read in the pages to follow is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. I met the vamp vampire of which I write years ago in an inn in Beauclair. He introduced himself to me as Regis and said he was a barber and medic. Since he looked in every aspect like a mortal man, I might never have even suspected his true nature. Had not a fire broken out shortly thereafter in the establishment in which we were residing. This Regis, if that truly was his name, stood completely untouched by the flames, whereas my own clothing quickly caught fire. The vampire carried me out of the burning and saving my life from certain death, then treated my numerous rooms. So, um, of course, the Witcher fans do know Regis. It is a good friend in the books of Geralt. Hello, Frosty Woman. You can see we have Bathtub Geralt now permanently on screen. So much improvement were made for the stream. Step by step becoming a professional streamer, just pandering to the audience with naked Geralt in a bathtub. At first, Regis refused to answer my query as to how he had miraculously survived the furnace, like temperatures inside the burning and without so much as a scratch on his body or a hair singed on his head. Eventually, however, he must have sensed I was a man of the world, one who would not jump to hasty judgment based on appearance or species, and revealed his identity, along with a great number of highly interesting facts. 
According to Regis, not all vampires are alike. This vast family contains both mindless catacans, flatters, and akimaras, who in form resemble overgrowth bats from more than humans, as well as Alps and Bruxa, who look remarkably like uh, comely mates. In addition to these, there are the even more powerful higher vampires, to which genus uh, belonged my unexpected acquaintance. Not even a witcher can discern a higher vampire from a mortal man. Contrary to popular belief, they cannot be killed by pounding aspen stakes into their chest, nor by cutting off their heads, nor, as can vouch for based on personal experience, by fire. They do not fear running water, garlic, or the symbols of the any creed. It might be some consolation to learn a vampire's bite does not turn a human into, an, uh, into one of their own, uh, one of their number, and they do not in any way need our blood in order to survive. To them, it is merely a delicacy in which they indulge from time to time, like men do with fine wine. Regis asked me to keep this tale to myself, but now as I lay on my deathbed, I feel that I must share this secret knowledge, even if it means breaking my word to this most noble individual. So yeah, we, we learn a little bit about vampires and about Regis. Um, Regis, of course, Geralt knows. It's uh, one of his closer friends in uh, the books. And we kind of get a, like a short overview about him and about how higher vampires work. Um, and in fact, that they don't even need blood, then it is more like a delicacy. And it's more like, uh, I think in the books, uh, Regis kind of compares it to like just young teenagers over over indulging in like big uh, feasts and uh, of alcohol um, or uh, big parties. It's kind of like how um, vampires often treat like um, sucking blood from humans, or that's how it starts, and then a lot of vampires just don't stop because they like the rush it gives them. But uh, Regis explains in the books that he stopped drinking blood at one point because he went too far and couldn't really live with that and uh, with the uh, guild. So he stopped drinking blood entirely and uh, yeah, just doesn't do it anymore. So now we could go to Down Boren and talk to the village people, <laughs> not the band but the people who live in the village. Um, I also have the um, continuation of the Forefathers' Eve quest for the Peller, which is pretty close. Oh no, everyone be quiet. We don't want to uh, get Atheless into trouble here. Jeez. So that would be there. I think I will do that because it's fairly close. Uh, then there's another contract we at least can pick up. Uh, fairly close to that. And um, then go from there. Back in the swamp. Back box. And we, of course, have our lovely visitors and friends, the Drowners. And let's get into fighting mode here. Oh, should be more careful there. Oh, there's another one on the way there. Yeah, this this box can be a bit annoying with the small, smaller and bigger uh, monsters all over the place. So at later points, I usually just run through it. Ooh. I'll take my potion here. Mm. 
volume a little bit up. I hope the volume is fine for you all. There are no other issues. Last time I had the problem that uh, when I played that I had my taskbar at the bottom all the time. You couldn't see that but it was kind of distracting for me. But this time all is fine. And I guess I uh, would have fixed the issue if I just restarted my PC last week but ain't nobody got time for that. Well, that's actually the guy who gives us the contract. So. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. <sighs> tell me more about the monster. This monster, tell me more. Only seen it once myself. And that from afar and past dusk. Thought it were a man at first. Then it turned. And I saw eyes burning like coals and a jaw full of fangs, one next to the other. Humanoid? Nocturnal? Hmm. First attack. Remember when it happened? A week passed, near about. It was then Boren vanished. Merrick and Tommil went looking for him, didn't come back either, them two. I were feared. Now none dare venture into the bog. Camp stands deserted, and the peat there. Master, it's the best sort. Black as pitch and oily. Good for fuel and. Fascinating, but staying with the topic at hand. Yeah. Stay concentrated here. Assume you put up the notice in Down Warren. Aye, twere me. Good to know someone reads them. Paid a scribe a dozen eggs to write it up. I can help. For a fee. Course! Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. So, let's haggle. Afraid I'll need more than an ox needs. How much are you willing to pay, exactly? Uh, let's try something around the middle. Like 80... Oh, master, you value your services dear. But so be it. I'll agree to that. All right, time, time I got, got to work. work. Where will I find this monster? Start south of here. But beware, bad poxy air hangs o'er the marsh. Stings your eyes, claws at your throat. Claws so hard you could choke. Okay. But first of all, I will uh, look for the body of the palace father and see what we can find out about that. Might be this body. Oh, should go. Mm, chain reaction. Explode of feelings. Nope. Get away from that. Is it that? Seems to be, maybe. The swamps kept Ambrose's body in good shape. Hmm. Even where the Peller smashed his head in. Gotta incinerate it. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Okay, let's incinerate it. Leave the world of the living. Never return again. Okay. Seems to be it. So now I could talk to the Peller, but I think um, since we are still in the swamp, let's take care of the swamp thing. I like the new armor set. It's very dapper. Or something? No. Probably not. Oh! Huh. There was something. No ordinary fog, this. The odor. <laughs> oh! Metallic almost. Oh, jeez. 
special fork. Wait, where, where am I going anyway? Okay. Oh, what's this? Didn't even have time to pull out his weapon. Monster must have been concealed. Surprised him. Okay. Water. Oh. Well, then I'm in good company, Danielle. Then at least I'm in good company with that. <coughs> Damn. Someone placed an illusion here. Oh. Oh, come on. In fact, Kira gave me. Yeah, that was very useful. Oh, come on. I hate those drowners and their attacks. Also, I get stuck every time. Something about an illusion he mumbles Different about. Claw marks. Guess a few individuals feed here. Strange. No tracks around the corpses. Okay, so the monster messed with magic. This is getting interesting. Tracks. Guess I'm dealing with an old foglet hiding behind an illusion. Ignis Fatus. <coughs> Let's look for that monster. I think that it would have led us to this place, which also is part of the quest. Um, luckily, I don't have to look too much around since I know the quest. Someone placed an illusion. There's another illusion. This tricky little foglet. Florence. Oh, there's a foglet, but that seems to be just a regular foglet. What the foglet? Oh. Is he attacking himself? You're not the smartest foglet. He isn't attacking himself. What a stupid idiot. Falling for his own illusion. Uh, bastards are strong. Foglet, yes. Must be the fog. That's how they are called. Don't fo forget that. Okay, diagram. Enhanced necrophage oil. That would be too sweet if I can brew that. Well, it doesn't seem that way, but Akimara decoction. Damage dealt to foes. Regenerate uh, vitality. Mm, that could be actually a very useful decoction for a change. Um, also, I can do a cat potion. Why not do that, since we have all that. Blue mutagen. And create a greater blue mutagen um, that also might affect our oh it's all uh, automatically there nice so now we get sign intensity plus 21 percent do like that and now I do want to I think I will put the Akimara decoction here because that is pretty cool to regenerate vitality when damaging foes. That I do like. So let's throw that in. Isn't raising our toxicity too much. So we can 
still use our other potions, which is crucial. Welcome back, Ruben! Got everything you wanted in the supermarket? Ooh, you are an ugly motherfucker. Let's also th throw on some oil. Necrophage oil, thank you. Geralt looks too dapper, yeah! Again, I think his new armor is pretty sweet. So where is that? There, there he is! Wanted to attack me from behind. Hmm. I froze him a little bit. He's chilled him. Whoa! Whoa! He hits hard though. Should be careful with that. Getting oiled up, yes, all oiled up, prepared to strike the Ignis Fatus. The Fat Ignis, or whatever that means. I mean, Mirror is the pro in terms of Latin, but I think Ignis Fatus just means Fat Ignis. Gotta be, right? Mm. You can kind of detect him within the fog. It is cool, I feel. Damn it. Ludi hate the world. Mm. Whoa. Oh no, we need to oil up again. Needs to be extra greasy, yes. Extra greasy sword. What's going on, Fizz? Why the sad face? There he is. Oh, he stunned me! That son of a gun. Because we are PG-13. Yeah. Fat Ignis. Uh, it's just... There he is! Oh, he hit so hard! Oh, he hits very hard, and I accidentally attacked, which was a bad idea in that moment. Need my twenty up in the penny. Hmm. Freeze! Die! That. Bad memories of a certain movie echo, just some bad memories. <laughs> Fizz has PTSD from the Greasy Strangler. Yeah, Ruben, um, I did my best, best with my little rhyme. I hope you liked it. Carabella and the Foglet Trophy. I don't even know where my remote is for the party lights. I'm a mess. I don't know. It's gone. No party lights for the boss fight. Imagine the party lights. But, uh, like, at least we have bathtub Geralt still. So that should raise the mood a little bit, right? So, which part? Yeah, I'm very sorry. I can totally understand if you all now unfollow and un unsubscribe. You know, it's super unprofessional of me. No party lights and all. 
I know that there is another uh, important chest in the cave here, so that is why I'm looking around a little closer than usual. No refunds, though. No, sorry, physics. No refunds. It is a cute little guy, yeah. This. Here is another chest uh, with uh, diagrams for Witcher armor, which I wanted to get, but I can't find it now. Doesn't really matter because then we just have to come back later once we have the quest. But that worked pretty well. It was a tough fight. Took took me a while, but um. Who was it to ask if uh, it's tough on Death March last time? Can't remember, but um, that fight basically showed why Death March is uh, difficult. So as long as you are focused and patient, it's not really like like a huge issue. But uh, once you lose focus, once you do a mistake, they do hit very hard, and it's very easy to get stunned. Did you see the clip I posted on your Discord, Akko? I sang for Yeah, I uh, saw that. I ch um, watched that even yesterday. You streamed for a long time, Groom. And still I couldn't make it because I had to work until 3 a.m. yesterday. Um, but I uh, hope you ha enjoyed your time. That was uh, was a long, long stream for you. Any titans? Students are gone. Yay! Monster's dead. Fog's dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give them cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it and fare you well. Hang on a minute. This is less than we agreed. Oh! Master Witcher. That Frosty woman! Thank you very much for and the research. Three months in a row. Left now and I've yet to buy new tools. That's so nice of you. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy Bathalas as a little reward. Once Wait. I've made up some of me Wait. I have a special treat for you. There he is. In all his glory. Just for you, Frosty Woman and Athelas may look as well. Thank you very much for the resub. Thank you for all your support, that's very generous. Should I play this way? I, I could keep it this way. <laughs> well, let's, let's return to normal. Make it bathed up, Geralt! <laughs> Fine, I see you in a week. Fine. So it's actually so a week, so we have to wait you an in-game week. Then we can you talk to him and see if he really pays Thank up. You, Witcher. Thank you, kindly, my lord. Malitale bless ye. May ye be fruitful and... Get to work. You've only got a week. Uh, yes, it was that busy. So, because today is Labor Day in Germany and all around the world except the US, um, people have free today, so it's a holiday in Germany. And... A lot of people then, like this year, since it's, uh, it fell on a, a Tuesday, a lot of people took off the Monday as well to have like a very long weekend. And of course, students don't have to go to school today. So it was very busy and it was very close for me to... I was nearly out of the door at midnight, so three hours earlier. But uh, then... <laughs> then another group came in and then I was busy until 3 a.m. I I do know what I do for work, Athelas. Now I, uh, aside from being a very la a lazy student, I am working in a bar in the kitchen. So I'm the cook in the bar for the most part. Um, but it is a, a pretty busy bar and like 
you also so we were only two two people there at the time so when it's busy you kind of have to do everything and oh shit i'm in the poison um so it it can be pretty rough especially like the, those long days then it gets late and you're already tired but people are still coming and are annoying because they're drunk and don't have to tell you that right damn it This is pretty tough right now. There are a lot of enemies. I'll slice them in half. Yeah, now you know. <laughs> and I mean, it's it's like when you when you're the done with there. work, I always just need like up. some time to wind down, so I can't just uh, like come home and just immediately go to bed. I always need some time to wind down and like settle down a little bit. So even uh, so, when I wake until whoa, when I wake until. Um, when I work until 3 a.m. Like, I can't really fall asleep until at least 4 or 5. So, yeah. Really messes with the sleep rhythm. What if you come back later than a week? Would you get more interest? What do you mean? What if you come back later than a week? Did you get more interest? I don't get it. I don't know what you mean, room. Oh, oh, for the quest. What if you come back late? There's a game going on, everyone. Right. There is a game going on. What if you come back later than a week, but you get more interest? No. It's just like, if we talk before, um, now... Before the week is over, he says, oh, you gave me a week, come back later. And uh, after a week, the quest automatically updates uh, after an in-game week. And uh, then we can talk to him again. And after that, he does what he does after a week. I'm not spoiling how the quest ends, if he pays up or not. But uh, we get then an update, like you can now talk to the guy again. And then we can visit. Like, let me see. Good. Now it says return in a week to collect the agreed on reward plus interest. And uh, after a week, the, the quest updates. Like, you can now talk to the guy again. But I think for now that's about it in terms of side quest. Though I do have to talk to the peddler again. Mm, okay, uh, I think I will go here, then fast travel to the pillar. Hello, Roach. How are you doing today? We haven't seen each other. Ooh. What are you doing? Jump 
of Roach, and then we can talk to the Peller again. Where is he? There. Nothing after that. Uh, only thing I really have to do is talk um, talk about the main quest then. So that's very soon in the future. Oh, I didn't check the sword that we got. The Carabella. Ooh, it's pretty sweet. 2% chance to freeze right out of the gate. I do like the bonuses, though, on the other steel sword. I don't have, like, super cool... Or do I have freeze? So I could put three of those in. I would have an 8% chance to freeze, which is pretty nice. A 9% critical hit chance. Might actually be worth it. Now that I think of it. Hmm. Mm hmm. I think I will do it. Looks pretty sweet. Also very important. Then I will put in the freeze runes. Nice. Okay. Also, I think there were some bestiary entries. Oh, yeah. Sure are. Ignis Fatus. Careful, sir. Monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. Less love. Peat Digger. The monster haunting the peat box of Valen turned out to be an ancient foglet. These are ex exceptionally long-lived creatures. Some have even dwelt on this earth for over 200 years, growing stronger and stronger all the while. Blows dealt by foglets of such an age carry so much power, blocking them is out of the question. These foglets possess the ability to move extremely quickly and not even Erden can slow them down. Furthermore, they can melt completely into the mist, then suddenly rematerialize to strike from behind. Wearing heavy armor or making good use of the quen sign is highly recommended. This ancient foglet proved particularly adept in the art of forming illusions. Only a professional monster slayer skilled with signs and swords could best such foe. Luckily, Geralt fit that description perfectly. The most important thing about uh, being effective in combat, Akko, looking cool. For sure. Can't argue with that. Oh, and we got a entry about godlings from last time talking to Johnny. Not too long ago, the areas around peasant hamlets were chock full of guardian spirits. Today, it's nigh unto impossible to spot a brownie Bucker or Luton, and godlings, they are always the first to go. Such is the price we pay for a civilization's forward march. From the preface to the world we have lost by Professor Doringeray. Godlings, sometimes mistaken for Luton, are woodland creatures dwelling in burrows and moss covered hollow stumps on the outskirts of human settlements. They are similar to children in behavior and appearance, and like children, delight in mischief. Godlings are deeply rooted in their home territory and perform acts of care and guardianship to those dwelling near their burrows. They watch over people as well as animals, but shy creatures by nature, they try to do so while remaining unseen. Godlings are drawn to joy and innocence and delight in the company of children and usually only show themselves to the young. These hard-working and clever creatures gladly perform small services for those in their care, asking only for respect and payment in form of food or cast of tools in return. They are easily offended by churlish, ungrateful, or simply rude behavior. Godlings are treasure Godlings also treasure their peace and quiet. When the village a godlin watches over becomes too populous or its inhabitants for get the old ways, it will abandon its burrow for good and walk off to destinations unknown. And then we have Hyo Vampires. Men, the polite ones at least, would call me a monster. I, a blot, a blot, blot, a blood drinking freak. Emil 
Regis, higher vampire. Only a mutual thirst of blood. Why do I have trouble saying blood today? Um, for blood. Like, links higher vampires to their distant and much more primitive cousins, Akimaras, Alps, Katakans and the like. Higher vampires are, in fact, much more similar to humans than to those bat-like blood slurpers. They not only resemble us in appearance, but also share our intelligence and behavioral patterns. This means they do not squat in distant forests or hide in the shadows. On the contrary, they are particularly fond of cities where they live out deceivingly normal lives. Even witchers are not capable of recognizing them at once, for their medallions remain perfectly motionless in the presence of higher vampires. Yet all these similarities should not blind us to an essential difference. Unlike men, higher vampires are immortal. Those who have faced them in combat and survived can be counted on one hand. It is a witcher's good fortune that higher vampires are extremely rare and not all are dangerous to humans. Though they do have a taste for blood, they do not need to drink it to survive though they do not need to drink it to survive some higher vampires have renounced feeding on human altogether and do not harm to anyone but others give in to their desires a witcher who braves fighting um, higher vampire must bear in mind that he faces a monster endowed with incredible strength one able to manipulate men and animals turn invisible and transform into a giant bat and furthermore one which it is nearly impossible to kill in other words, even an experienced monster slayer should think twice before accepting a contract on one of these creatures, even if half a kingdom and prince's hand is in the offering. That's actually Garrett's superpower looking cool. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that is. So, some more information about higher vampires. Anything else? No. That's it. Okay. This be the witch. Let's talk to the Peller about his dead father that we just burnt. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Um, I found your father's body. Found your father's body. Had to burn it. Good you did. Return for me, ye would have. So you really killed your father? What's your story? You actually kill your father? It was an evil man. The Pella feared him once, but then grew brave. What his father did to his mother, the Pella could not look upon it. So he split the father's head with an axe, left him in the swamp. But folk knew. Ghost's not likely to come back. Thank you, Witcher. A reward for your aid. And if herbs or remedies you ever need, for near nothing you will have them from me. But I still have to pay. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Root. Um, but I do want to check Could his you stuff you out. Show me what you got. And see if I can. Uh, brew some potions or oils with his ingredients. So, um, the concoction maybe not. Enhanced necrophage. Oh, what do I need for that? I need a blow ball. That he should have. That is a pretty common ingredient. Yes, nice. Uh, enhanced uh, necrophage oil is super important because there are a lot of necrophages out there. Okay, let's do that. Here I need lots of stuff that I do not have. Same here. Oh, that's superior, so that is far away anyway. Enhanced Thunderbolt, still the Andriga embryos. He doesn't have those, I checked that. Uh, not really too focus on those. And same goes for this. Do you want to check? Is there anything easy to grave Hector Cosmo? Each foe slain accelerates vitality regeneration for the duration of battle. Well, 
Uh, not super helpful. Since most battle zones that that long anyway. Running, sprinting, and jumping outside combat does not use stamina. Uh, same goes for that. I think we're done here. So long. But at least I got the enhanced necrophage oil, which is a big step. So now I uh, will travel back to Downmoren and check out the quest that is there. select the quest and then we can get going. Ladies of the Wood, talk to the Alderman of Downwarren. Let's do that. And also save. Looks like rain. Greetings. Nice village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps, if you say so. <laughs> you get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. I don't belong to anyone. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied, all oh, fathers, sons, Daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Mm, I do need some more details here. Need more details. You must see for yourself. The grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Illick. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Mm. How long has it been like this? When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, it was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands, and the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. Mm -hmm. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Mm, okay, I will look around. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Okay. Well, then let's have a look. How far is it away? 
Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, quite a bit. Let's call Rachi. Nope, wrong direction. all of the sudden on my road. I won't have any of that. Oh, now we have drown up here as well. Thank you, drown. Estimated at him with his stupid shield. Curses. Okay. Oh, oh, come on. Just die. What are we doing here? It's not like you have a chance. Okay, okay. Very nasty words. Hmm. Very nasty. Take all that. What? Roach! Stop it. What are you doing? Yeah, thank you. Let's go to the Whispering Hillock. I don't even care about the dramas anymore. Nice. What's going on here? Fang bites. Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. Well, that does sound pleasant. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Uh, not that I know what we will encounter, but I will put on some cursed oil. Just randomly, no big deal. Oh, a werewolf! Good that we put on the cursed oil. Be gone. The powers will not 
Draw from that. And use the ability point. So, what do we have? It's. Oh, that is. More toxicity is important for alchemy build, so I will take that. Didn't want to box against the wall. Yeah, let's go into this cave. What could go wrong? What do you know about the crowns? You must know the crowns pretty well. They are Velen's curse. They hear all through seven years. They weave hair and twist lives. They take their strength from the broth of human flesh. Uh, it's uh, some kind of cursed being. So far, so much I can tell. Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. Why was I attacked? I was attacked. This is my crisis. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await. And my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderers. Killed my body. Now my soul they hunt, for I defy them. You claim that I can free you. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wander endlessly. A labyrinth of thieves. The children. I know all. I know what to win. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I can be a gale, a gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. So, the kids in the clearing are in danger talking about the kids that we met last episode that were 
kept there um, and taken care of by Gran. Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? This, this, <laughs> this is the main character of the Greasy Strangler too. <laughs> no spoilers, Fizz. Where they take no spoilers. <laughs> it is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules to add ceremony. They shall all die. Let them be saved. Uh... The crowns. What do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Melon is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live concealed. You will not find them. They hear all. You cannot hide. Okay. So now we have the... Like the crones gave us the quest to take care of the source of the trouble and in exchange they said that they would give us the information about Siri that we need. Now we find the cause of trouble and the cause of trouble at least claims to be that their mortal body was killed by the crowns and that they were cursed and is now trapped inside here and we could help this being and in exchange for that this being promises to help the children and save them tough decision um but we don't like this is not the final time we make the decision so it can be made later so for now, of course, uh, at least I will say I will help you. If you can save the orphans from the meadow, I'll help you. I will find them, free them, open the door of my cage. Blood is my escape, a rite you must perform. With the black of raven feathers, the white of my bones, and the swift steed, a bear wild and in meadows past your court, dark as a bottomless well, black as the depths of night. Such a beast, no other. Gather these and bring them here. Uh, raven feathers? Got some raven feathers. Find my remains and bring me a mount. A wind born. Turned horse. The horse? Why do we need a black horse? The beast and I shall be as one. As when I lived, we shall be a gale. Nothing to stop us. A wild steed from meadows moist. Oh boy, moist meadows. Where will I find your remains? My bones. They lie in a solitary mound nearby, due west. Okay. I'll gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the Illumix depths, to the tree's rotten heart. Pierce my heart. Let the blood flow to be born again. I must first be consumed. Go now, and return through the passage I have opened. Okay, so now we have to find the bones. And we then have another opportunity to decide if we really want to help this being, or if we want to just obey the quest of... The crowns. Hello, Sarah Austin. How are you doing today? Hope you had a good start into the.
Daryl took a break. He'll be back soon. <clears throat> um. Sure. Well, that um uh, that happened. I don't know where the last order safe was. Let's find out. How do you solve your old man? How are you doing? <laughs> Hope you had a good start into your week. Okay, we're right back here, so it isn't that bad. Oopsie. Garo peaced out. Yeah, he needed a break. It's It's been a long day, you know, fighting drowners, fighting foglets. It's, it's busy, it's busy, so you gotta take some time for yourself and, <clears throat> like, rest a bit. How did that kill him, by the way? I mean, seriously? That's not that high. Oh, hello! My watery hag. Oh! Rude! I want to fight you. Hey. Also a good time to check out my new enhanced necrophage oil. Now available in the Twitch store. Ooh. 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 Down a little bit. Madame. Ooh. Oh, come on. Whoa! I thought you were dead. No, you're dead. You're not my real dad. Um. Where is. Where are the remains of the whispering. Oh, there. There, maybe. Is it that? Oh, yeah. We have a grave stone. Strange bones. Don't seem human to me. Hmm. So, whatever it was, it wasn't human. Now we got to... Come a wild horse using the Axie sign. of power should draw from it. No spoilers, Sarah. No spoilers, please, Sarah. No major story spoilers. Oh, come on. You're not just speculating. That's nice, Atheris. No, no problem. Work is number one priority. You can always lurk. But glad to hear that you're enjoying this. 
Also, always better with best tip, Gerald, right? Move it. I keep looking for Bethlehem to use as an emote, yeah. <laughs> So now we uh, now we have the final decision to make here. We can start the ritual, um, tr free the spirit. We can uh, trick the being and destroy it, or we can just say we're going to kill it. So. That's a, this ch choice is very important and like usually I play it with no, like I want to play it in terms of what I find is a, a more interesting way to solve it and also how I would think that Geralt may choose in that situation without having the extra no knowledge of having played it before and knowing the consequences. Um, also for those who haven't watched it before, um, to kind of surprise them maybe. That is also why I don't want any major plot spoilers during the, um, during the playthrough. Of course, I know everything about the game and I can't be spoiled and lots of other others of you can't be spoiled. However, um, there are people who haven't played the game or at least not in its entire entirety. And for them, I don't want to discuss like major plot spoilers. Like, small things that happen in the future are fine, but like actually like talking about how a certain path ends or what the effects of certain decisions are that I would like to avoid so everyone who hasn't seen it can enjoy it and after it happened then of course it can be discussed what happened and why it happened and what may uh, what different options there were I just uh, choose the fun options and Oh, I chose the option that I uh, chose when I played the game the first time. I offer raven feathers. Once I was free, I shall be free once more. I offer your remains. Some of the DLCs once for you I still was this? Flesh, Yeah. It's I a long game. Not everyone can, even if they more. like the game, can put in all the hours, right? To either play it in its entirety or watch it in its entirety. Yuck. But I'm all Athelus. Black Beauty, we freed. If that was a good decision, we will find out. 
Well, after the DLC came out, I decided to start fresh and played it completely through. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. First of all, I do want to pick up some ingredients. And now, yeah, now we freed the spirit. Don't know, of course, about the repercussions. But surely there will be some. And now we have to talk to the Alderman of Don Warren to to that we took care of the problem. Best give Crow Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? Well... Well, you don't want to know. Believe me, you don't want to know. What have you done? Doesn't matter. Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said, I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. Okay. Okay, what does that mean? What are we doing here? What is the payment? What's he doing? Oh no! Oh Jesus! Jesus Christ. Ah, ugh. There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the Ugh. hell was that? Yikes. Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. Ugh. So, all those ears in the woods. Put it out your mind, master. Ugh. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Ouch. Okay, I guess that was fine, to a degree, somehow, a little bit, maybe. And we're back. And now we will meet the crones. Everyone watch out for those beautiful ladies. Sexy ladies. Mm -hmm. Achieve your weapon, young man. You live in love me in real life. Mm -hmm. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. That is eerie. Oh, we heard about that before. Markings on the hand. Once more. Well, no. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. They never wanted to flee. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence. We must speak to the white-haired one. I know that, Mark. This is Anna. The wife of the Baron of Crow's so this is the wife She belongs of the to Baron. no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. Hey, Carla. She's Welcome ours. to the stream. How are you today? Come. 
It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You used me. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not spree, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? I freed the spirit trapped in the tree. Hear that, sisters? Traitor! He took the children, brought her! We made a deal. I was supposed to help oh, the Oh, nice, stay off. I held up my end of the bargain. They're safe now. So, a mockery. You chose to outwit. Well, it's kind of what you do, right? So... Yeah, who was the spirit that we freed? Whose spirit was trapped in the tree? That of one who once cheated death. You freed an ancient power. Oops. It will rise again. Elsewhere, beyond our reach, blood will flow once more. What foolish things men sometimes do. Um, why do you look different now? You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you desire us? For sure. <sighs> I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. What? No, no, uh, no, 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 no. To be woven together with you? No, no, not woven together. No, I'd sucking out. I'd be your best and last. Oh, come on. Let's, let's, uh, change the subject. Not what I came for. Yeah, not what I came for. Nope. <laughs> what is that in front there? Which in a bathtub toy? Yes. It's Bathalus. So, okay. Deal's a deal. Tell me about the woman I seek. Our deal. I did my part. Now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Mousy blonde. Thin as a rail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Miss Jesus. Yes, exactly, Koala. Stubborn and selfish. I don't believe you. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. So where is she now? Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. Okay, flashback. <laughs> Carol is so dressed today. <laughs> we knew someone special for me. We let beast in trails. So well, it provided an extra Garrod on screen. Glimpse her likeness. And All right, Daniel. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the Olens had spoken of. A child of the Elder Blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame. By the way, is the bot working again? Let's see. It works! Nightbot is back! And she Siri fell as well. Into our hands.
elder blood. Mm, the blood of the Tempress. Siri, 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 Siri. Oh. Does she sleep like a lamb? Come, sisters, no point in dawdling. The table set, the cauldron bubbles. We cannot. You know she is meant for him. Imlareth will get her. He will. But not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it. Nope. Please, no, no. You'll regret that girl. Regret it Run. dearly. Yes. Oh, you have a visitor. On the road again. Totally noping out of this one. Yes. No. 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 Didn't I escape? That is a very horse. She is so cool. I totally agree with you, Alcaraz. I mean, it's not a cheese. We were supposed to escape and that we did. Why wouldn't she just run? If she has to run. So... I don't consider that cheese. You tried to kill her, tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood, the taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood, extraordinary girl, but you know that. Such a shame she fled. I will find her and I will come back for you. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return, you shall. Our fates are bound. Yeah, that makes sense, Carla. And one It's a nice die. little detail, I agree. But it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl will die, <laughs> and some night. <laughs> yeah, can we please not? So, we did find out a lot here. So, Siri was here. They wanted to capture her, and then she fled. We also found out that the Gren, who was uh, looking after the children, is actually the Baron's wife that we were looking for the whole time now. 